Hey, it's old Bob, and I'm really focusing right now on getting uh, this work done. I'm doing a lot of electrical, plumbing, gas. I'm doing the whole nine yards. I'm, I'm making progress right now. I'm going to get a quick bite with my uh, my brothers at the club, and uh, they have a buffet night. A buffet. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to go to Red Cross tomorrow. I've jetted out here to go to the buffet, and I'm going to jet back and keep working on the house so the mom is happy because I, I don't want the family to be upset with me for not getting as much work done as I could. So grind away, pal. Grind away. I'm just using this as my little break. And I'm getting a lot done. Uh, getting a lot done. So I got the kitchen lamp put in, and uh, that one was a trouble because... The, uh, the box is, let, let's say the box is like, what, three inches apart. Well, the socket needs a four-inch box. I didn't have a four-inch box. So I remember, though, from putting in lamps that there's a stretch bar that goes across. You can stretch a bar across, and you can attach that using the 832nd degree screws up into the box. Then it, it's wide enough to where uh, now you can put the, uh, the, the, you can connect the, connect the, socket i'm putting this socket in up on the ceiling because when i got to the house there was no um no lights whatsoever not one light it's just all there so huh. so that was the first box i got it dead and of course i went to but a few days ago and i put uh, long long penny nails penny you know long uh, penny nails into the uh, ceiling poking around and looking for a stud and so I found the studs and I had I left the nails in there to mark where the studs were and I had these huge uh, hooks that I, I screwed up into the ceiling and then we've got Tiffany lamps we got from a little old restaurant that went out of business uh, my family and I went out to uh, Marino Valley or some someplace really really I mean way out there and we got all these lamps and so I've never had all the lamps in one space but now they're all being hung up in the space and I'm smart this time because last time what happened was I had to get out quick because the government agency there to terrorize us so I remember having to just like grit of my teeth get this lamp off the ceiling and it's just like it was hardwired in and I will never do that again. I just made it into a plug. I said, you know what? That's it. That's a plug. That's what we're going to have. So, uh, so I've been working on that. I got that one. Then I went to the next box and the next box, uh, the 832nd degree shoes, you know, the way they go into the, the receiving, the receiving part of the box was stripped out. There was no way to get an 832nd screw in there. It's just, no, 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 no. You can't get it in there. Not going to happen. So then I thought, well, I'll try another kind of thing. And I tried another, and I tried another. So by the time I got done trying, the box was just hanging out there. Well, I looked on the side of the box where there was a stud. On one part of the box, there was a stud. So I took the uh, self-tapping light bolt, about a four-inch light bolt, and just sunk it in that way. And that was a tough job because it was kind of all slippery slidey. But I got it to go. And then I, then I used self-tapping light bolts to go step, hit up into the box, and I got that done. So I got it all in. And, you know, so, and then every single lamp, I had to put a, a little uh, male plug on it because it didn't have the plugs it needed. So I got that done. And um, <clears throat> I'm throwing away all the, all the parts and the sides and just out the window, gone. I'm filling up trash cans full of stuff. I have a new appreciation for trash, trash, trash. Just throw it away. And I've been listening the whole time to, um, what this one is? This one says, Gilbert Shefflint, Federal Sentence Guidelines. And, uh, and he's talking about uh, cases. And another lady was talking about cases. And they're all talking about how the, the systems are all skewed and they're wrong. And uh, people who are actively violating uh, people, uh, they're not getting much, much at all. But anybody who watches someone who's by, they're they're gonna get, they're gonna get, they're gonna get them. and you know the people, the young people who are sexting, uh, they're being guilty of, of child, uh, you know, child abuse, and it's just like, and then the laws are going back to where there was just magazines, there was no internet, so there's an enhancement if a computer's involved, and of course everybody has a computer, and so 
Uh, it's just really interesting to hear these legal these legal beagles here, you know, talking and how they are figuring it all out. It's pretty amazing, pretty amazing for sure. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go and I uh, met. Oh, so so that meeting this morning I had. Uh, the guy was, uh, I was talking to somebody, I had that, I had this chance, I think I talked about this earlier, the huffing and the puffing and the, I'm going to blow your house down. It's <clears throat> just too much, too much, too much, just unbelievably, just calm down. But I wrote the person a thank you note. I said I understood their position. I appreciated all their service to the community. I apologized that my choices had affected in a negative way anybody there at the uh, station. And, you know, I just did what I could to kind of cover my tracks. And now I'm going to sit on this letter. I'm just going to sit on it for a month. I got it all done, but I'm going to sit on it. And then next month when I go back and I see this same deputy, I will, um, I will give him the note. If I feel like it's a pr I'll pray about it. I will give him the note, and we'll go from there. So that's what's happening on that front. Boy, the rain's coming down. It's amazing. This is really something. After all these years of drought, now it's just raining, 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 raining. My little Casa del Green camper unit is doing really well. I put some. I put a big strip of tape along the along the starboard side. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but I'll have to look into it and see. What's the right side of the boat called? The starboard side? So, I guess I could look it up real quick. Hang on, that's a good idea. I got nothing to do here. I'm just sitting here, so why don't I look it up here? All right. What is the right side of the boat called? All right, I'll see what they say here. Okay, so I think I was right. The starboard side, that is right. So the uh, the starboard side is uh, where I have my cabin. And um, so that that was the side that was leaking. And it turned out it was leaking in the seam between the, the ceiling and the, the, the hull. Oh, 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 oh. I better get my badge on, I guess, huh? Okay. Get my badge on. I'm on that little yellow line. Tap, 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 tap. But, oh well. Uh, nothing really bothers me too much anymore. Well, that that person this morning was really firing me up. I mean, I was just like, oh my god, just craziness. Just crazy. What about two miles an hour here? So this is literally just kind of just sitting here still. Yeah, that's why I'm hearing it so much. <laughs> All right, that's where this 
traffic so bad too. They pull one guy over and everybody decides that, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be on the highway. I'm not certified to float the boat. I want a real nautical theme today, aren't I? It's crazy. I'll be there in five minutes. Oh, oh, oh. And sure enough, he passed the higher patrol guy, and everybody's just light speed. It's crazy. And the Watch out, vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. Good. If you ever headed westbound on the 210 near Lake Avenue in Fair Oaks, stay to the far left hand lane. You can be in the carpool lane, be in that lane. This has never changed in all these years. For some reason, every Yahoo... In half a mile, stay to the left to State Route 134 West. Every Yahoo in the book is on the right, going as slowly as possible, braking, looking around, collecting their dollars. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea why they're so slow over there, but they're absolutely just... They're insane. It ever Stay to the left to State Route 134 West. Straight as an arrow, moving right forward. In half a mile. Exit to exit 13A, Orange Grove Boulevard. Go ahead and stick to the left-hand lane to the last, last three, four hundred yards, and then they just kind of zip right over because there's, there's plenty of room. There's big, wide gaps. Everybody's in the back, you know, I don't know. In 1,000 feet, exit right. They're doing something, and uh, they don't know how to drive. Everyone should just continue. Exit right to exit 13A, Orange Grove Boulevard. Regular, you know, number of knots, just sailing along, same speed, don't slow down. But oh no, we gotta. In 900 feet, turn left on North Orange Grove Boulevard. Hi, right, brothers and sisters. I will let you go. I love you. Thanks for sharing with me my day. Turn left on North Orange Grove Boulevard.